Well, he brought in Ed after we'd been going because he wanted a foil, and I obviously wasn't it. And he didn't find anybody comfortable, so, and he didn't like working. He wanted somebody that he could look at and that he would have reaction for timing. It really had to do with timing. And don't, remember with Carson, pretty much everything was scripted. There were setups. Everything was a setup, as we say. So he needed a reaction. So, and he and Ed had worked together on some show before Ed went back to Philly and did the midnight movie. And uh, actually, that's what loosened the gate for me that I became almost part of the family was Ed one night came to me when he was on the show and said we can't exist this way you know it's just wrong we're st the show is starting to swing and we should all we should be we don't have to be friends but we could at least be acquaintances so Ed booked a table at there was a restaurant here at the plaza called which was a sesame of, or a, a clone of Trader Vic's in Los Angeles and I don't drink and Carson shouldn't drink, and Ed made an appointment. I was on the, uh, after the show came off, I was one of the people on the editing that had to get rid of all the so-called objectionable, objectionables. They were showing up more and more, and uh, when I'd get through with the editing, it would be about 11 o'clock at night, and uh, Ed suggested that we all meet and have dinner together, just the three of us. But he suggested this place. Then he was conveniently late, very shrewd. And Carson and I sit there drinking Navy grogs and, and we're bombed in 20 minutes because we don't drink. And that really broke the, almost broke the spell of, of I think, John, young John being not anti me, but still uncomfortable that I was there because he felt I was an outsider. He felt I wasn't on his side. That's human nature, you know.